What's going on with his fans? It's me, Karen Bingo, and I'm back. I've been out for the past couple days, but I'm here to cover the Knicks beating the Wizards 1 3 8 7. Now, I didn't watch the game, game last night because I, I, I was at the Mrs. game last night, but I did see the highlights of the game. But it's going to be keep it short and sweet. There could be a lot to talk about. But let's get to players who impressed me during, during the game. Mo Wagner, our backup center, most likely our backup center. He had 20 points, 8 rebounds, 2 blocks. Now, I do like Mo Wagner. He will have games like this coming up this season where he gets you 15 or 17 off the bench. And sometimes he could start sometimes, you know. But he didn't learn how to shoot because he was like, I think he was over 4 from 3 point range. If he learned how to shoot, then it would be good. He just. But I do like his game though. He can, he can run the floor. He has, he has okay ball handling skills. He's not like Rui Hachimura. But I like uh, Mo Wagner. But I keep thinking it's Wagner, you know. I think he's German, but it's Wagner, not Wagner. And this kid here, uh, Troy uh, Coupain, you call it. He came in, had 15 points, 6 assists. I'm like, okay. But I don't think he's going to make the team though. But it was just here to show, but... I think he's he's on our our uh, G League team, the, the Washington Go Go. So if someone goes down there, he could have we could call him up and be part of the team. But for the Knicks, I'm gonna get to the Knicks fan real quick. I know Knicks fans were were panicking because Artie Barry he was struggling during the summer league, but he came in. He had 12 points, eight rebounds, ten assists, and people in the Knicks fan call him a bust. And you don't know if he can bust or not because look at Trey Young last last summer league. He had one of the worst swimming games I've ever seen. And look look who he is now. One of the best young players in the league. So, RJ Bear, he, he could be the best, but you never know. He could be the best player or second best, but we shall see. And who knows. But I want to get to the guy. I, I, I want to do this since the Hawks game. But I will do this. Some fan questions that that was given this past past week. So let's see what a fan got to say about Simley. This guy here, Ab Nugan underscore forty five, he says, "What grade would you give Rui Hachimura for his Summer League run so far?" Well, if it wasn't for them two games, the first games at their twenty points, I give him a B, a B minus because he shows signs of what, what he can do for our team. He averaged nineteen points, seven rebounds. Almost two blocks, shooting three percent from the field. So I like Rui, but but do like but what he would put on is decision making. He has some of the worst batches makings that I've seen for a rookie. Cause he saw the hog game, he gets a rebound, that's a dribble, 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 then he gets trapped and he turns the ball over. So he learned how to like, just rebound, just kick the ball back to the back to the uh, the guard instead of just doing by himself, then he'll he'll be fine. But overall, I like Rui Hachimura. He could, I think him and Bertans are going to battle for that uh, power four spot come training camp and preseason. But overall, Ruri, I, I like I like you. Even though I was a little down on you when we got to you, but welcome to the Wiz. So. All right, next question. This guy, at Dang Eller 23 he says, besides Rui Hachimura and Aaron Schofield, who else from the assembly roster makes, makes the next team this kind of fall? Well, he made a team last night. He signed to a three-year contract. Welcome to the team, Justin Robinson. I like Justin Robinson. He's our, our third our, our third point point guard on the team. In case, you know, Isaiah Thomas, if he's not right, or Ish Smith, you know, you know what I'm saying? He but he he has some up and down game. He averaged eight point eight points a game, four rebounds, four to six, almost two steals. But I, I kinda like Justin Robinson, so I think he's he gonna fit well for our team. I haven't seen his height yet, but he, but we got some small guards, you know what I'm saying? Some because John Wall is our biggest point guard on the team. We got guards who are like five ten, six feet, or whatever. But Justin Robinson, welcome to DC. And last but not least, my man at Room is perfect. He says, "Who been most most impressed by some leads so far?" Well, I did say Rich Murray, but. I'm gonna go with Troy Brown because he did show improvement even before he, uh, you know, he hurt hurt his leg. He had a knee contusion, something like that. 
But Troy Brown, he averaged 12 points, 8 rebounds, almost 2 assists. But he ain't work on his passing, though. Rebounding, I like his re rebounding and improve. He can get, if he can give me, like, 6 boards, almost 10 rounds a game, then it will be fine. But he work on his passing. The ball handling, I like his, his ball. It has improved since, since last season. Because I think he's not a point forward. He's more like our point forward on the team. So, if in when it comes to legacy situations, he's he, 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 he going to point guard. Because Isaiah Thomas, Ishmith, they're not defenders. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're not going to be in, in late game situation. But if you put in Troy Brown, Brad, and who, whoever the scorers are, that if we, can, we can make defensive stops at, at, at the end. So, Troy Brown, and then him and, and CJ Miles. I, think I said this in one po podcast, my friend's podcast. I said, is Brown a lock for the small four? And my man, my man, shout out to Quinn Mayo. He said no, but CJ Miles is lucky to be starting small four. But it's me some competition to see who's going to battle the, battle who, who's going to play. We know the point guards going to be Isaiah Thomas, Bradley Beal, and Thomas Bryant. But the small four and power position are going to be some battle to see. Small four is Troy versus, uh, Troy versus uh, CJ Miles. And power four is Rui versus Bertans. So, but I want to get to this real quick. Let's talk about the Russell Westbrook trade. When I saw this trade after the Wizards beat the Hawks over, I'm like, wow. Russell Westbrook playing with James Harden? I'm like, no way. And, and Twitter was going off, exploding with some funny media stuff. I'm like, <laughs> but do I like this trade? Well, I'm a little iffy about this trade because, you know, Russell, he can be, you know, a one-man show and a hard and can be like, you know. So it's going to be funny how them two are going to take 80 shots per game. <laughs> All game. Let, let's see watch them shoot, 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 shoot. And they're going to worry about the team, not about her. But my concern about the Rockets now, not rest well, is that coach over there, Mike D'Antoni, because I don't trust them completely all the time. Because there's some games you can get desperate and play six, seven, eight guys a, a night, and don't give Harden Westbrook any rest. And once they get once they get exhausted, that's gonna hurt them. Like Westbrook in the playoffs that three years, until he plays over four some minutes, exhausted. He you rest you you you, you were in a in January or February, but in the playoffs you get tired. Same with Harden in January, we was going all scoring 30, 50, 40, even sixty every night. He got tired, so. We shall see. And before before I head out here, this is for men only. Go to the the making, please. Watch the Mystics play. I don't care. Like it's women. Like they're not fun men. Like so what? It's basketball. Like that building, the uh, Entertainment Sports Arena. It's loud and energetic. Like those fans are so passionate every night. Like. Even though they didn't win, they lost to the Aces, 85-81. But it was a fun night. But I'm definitely going back to support the ladies. Like, y'all support the U.S. women's soccer team. Y'all supported them during the World Cup. So why not support the women's basketball team? Because women can't be, do basketball than men. So, whatever. Like, like, so. So, that's all I got to say. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all see me again. And then you'll see me again during the schedule release show. It's going to come out next month. But coming soon, I will post a, a new theme song for post-game shows. I'm working on that coming soon. But st stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. You follow me on Twitter, at Camingo. And same for this page. It's at Wiz underscore Nation. And Instagram is Nation underscore Wiz. Thank you. See y'all next month for the schedule release. DC family, we out.